Romans 12, 12 says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in turbulence, be constant in prayer. Now listen to that second phrase, be patient in turbulence. Not overcome it, not even defeat it, but be patient and let God handle the rest. A feature that they have already unlocked in their journey. All of us here have faith that the love that you portrayed and cultured in your time together will be everlasting. And I have complete confidence that your union will be an example to all those you touch. I remember when I first thought, if I ever proposed to her, this was how it would be. In the ocean, swimming with whales. Little did I know just how long it would be before I got the opportunity to do exactly that. Proverbs 16.9 says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Now this time I knew what I wanted to happen, but only the Lord knew how. Little did I know that on the second day in Hawaii, we'd end up swimming in the ocean. Little did I know that those noises that we heard underwater were whales off in the distance. It was too perfect to imagine. And hours later, I got down on one knee. I really wish my eight-year-old self was here. I'd tell her, you weren't too far off, but we get married at 30, not 25. But then I'd also wish my 25-year-old self was here to see me. I thank her for finally letting go of what we thought life would look like and trusting God had a plan better than we could have ever imagined. In Ezekiel 36, 26, the Lord says, and I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. You know better than anyone how true that is and how stubborn I could be. Seek God first, Miha, my father would say. <laughs> Delight in the Lord. And he will grant you all the desires of your heart. He will provide for all your needs. I stand today in one of God's many promises to me. In his goodness and his kindness, he's given me you. It was your heart of God, your unwavering faith. It was your confidence and vulnerability. It was your burning, passionate love for Jesus that reignited the spark that lay dormant inside me. I didn't know it at the time, but in being introduced to you, I was being reintroduced to Jesus. And it was through my relationship with Jesus that I learned how to love you. You, my love, are more than an answered prayer. You are more than what I had hoped for. Besides being drop-dead gorgeous, <laughs> You have the biggest heart I know, and although you'd never admit, you are the most tender and kind. And what God has brought together, let no man separate. Kyle and Danya, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your wife. Above all, I promise to keep Christ at the center of my life, of our marriage, and our home. I promise to love you with fervor, pursue you with unrelenting desire, and to protect you with steadfast loyalty. I promise to pray with you. I promise to lead us as God intended me to. And I promise to encourage and inspire you. You are my greatest blessing. I'm so excited for the journey God has for us. I love you. You maintain your integrity all while evolving into the man God has called you to be. Kyle, you forever have my respect. I am so proud and beyond grateful that I get to champion you. I get to encourage you. I get to learn and grow with you, laugh and cry. It's just an honor to be a recipient of your love. I vow today to treasure and protect that love. I'll never take it for granted, and I will forever choose to love you the same.
there's there's a saying out there when it comes to marriage that you can either be lonely and single or you can be married and bored and i don't believe either one of those right because of passion passion is what separates those Danya, I've seen the way you light up when you when you strum that guitar. I see the way you light up when you get to lead people into a presence of God. I see the way you light up when you're with your family, your niece and nephew, all of them, right? I haven't seen it particularly, but I know that you've got passion. You love to ride. You love to jump off roofs into pools. You love to barbecue. You love to get into the games. There's passion here, y'all. Passion. In these last few years by your side, Kyle, you have been a vessel of God's love for me. You've seen me. In fact, you've memorized me. <laughs> you've seen my strengths, learned my weaknesses, and you have loved me the same. Your love has not wavered. It isn't fickle. You don't fear conflict. Instead, you boldly fight for us. And you choose to love us more and more in loss or gain and beyond the pain. <laughs> Little did I know that in meeting you, just how much my life would change. Little did I know that someday we would end up here. Little did I know just how in love with you I would be. Little did I know.